A Chinese research lab has achieved something remarkable, DeepSeq Math V2, an open source AI that scores 118 out of 120 on the Putnam exam, one of the world's most challenging undergraduate mathematical competitions. This isn't just another benchmark win, it represents a fundamentally new approach to AI reasoning. To put this in perspective, this AI system outperformed a recent International Math Olympiad gold medalist. But here's the critical insight from the research team. Correct answers don't guarantee correct reasoning. That distinction matters enormously when this technology gets deployed in real-world applications. What makes this system unique is its dual architecture design. One AI model, the Genius, generates multiple proofs for each problem. Another AI, the Examiner, scores these proofs for clarity and logical coherence, selecting the best one. This self-verifying system ensures mathematical rigor, not just correct answers. It's mathematical peer review automated. Here's where things get interesting. The model weights are released under the Apache 2.0 license. Technically, anyone can download them. But there's a catch. Running both the Genius and the Examiner requires substantial GPU resources and power consumption. As the researchers note, the question of power bill ownership still remains unanswered. This creates a paradox. Open access in theory, but practical operational gatekeeping. DeepSeek's achievement places it alongside the world's most advanced AI research. Both OpenAI and DeepMind have achieved similar results with their closed proprietary models. But DeepSeek is doing this publicly, showing comparable mathematical reasoning skill while being transparent about its architecture. This technology matters far beyond academic competitions. Imagine these self-verifying systems deployed in trading desks, research labs, engineering firms, and financial institutions. When mathematical proofs underpin billion-dollar decisions or critical engineering designs, having an AI that ensures both correct answers and correct reasoning becomes invaluable. We're left with a fundamental paradox. Some call this democratization of AI and knowledge at its best, and they're right about the open license. Anyone can study the architecture, learn from it, even modify it. But as the researchers acknowledge, the cost of the hardware means only a few institutions can operate both the genius and the examiner. We have theoretical openness with practical concentration of power. There are also important caveats. Some competition problems may have been in the training data, and benchmark scores may blend reasoning with pattern recall. 